bollocks, isn't it? Tell you what, though, I do like Dragon Force. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where it's at. So, we've been through various drugs, so it bleeds us pretty squarely onto mental illness, really. <laughs> this is a sensitive song. When I say sensitive, I meant mental. <laughs> Same difference. The pigeons told me to shoplift The voices were so persuasive The pigeons, they controlled my mind and Shortly afterwards I did find Myself in Dixon's putting things in my cup And looking around and running away And running away from a security guard He was overweight, but he thought he was hard And that's when he involved the police on me and the magistrate, he didn't believe me About the pigeons who told me to shoplift He said, son, I think you're a mentalist I'm sending you for psychiatric reports I said, please don't send me for psychiatric reports He said, I'm sending you for psychiatric reports I said, please don't send me for psychiatric reports He said, I'm sending you for psychiatric reports I said, please don't send me for psychiatric reports I'm sending you for psychiatric reports! You can't have been told to shoplift by pigeons! You're bullshitting us, you bastard! Get the fuck! Get to the fucking hospital! Do as you're told! I'm a fucking magistrate! I was like, chill out, Robert! <laughs> fucking hell! Ah, magistrates are tight these days! So they took me off in the green van with the square wheels to the field mines. That's where I met the psychiatrist. He didn't believe me either. He said, son, there's no way on earth a pigeon can tell you what to do. I said, you don't understand, I'll show you. I can speak the pigeon's language, I said. And that was about the time that I looked deep in his eyes as I started to speak in the manner of the pigeons through my beak, I said. <laughs> That's how I hypnotised the psychiatrist. <laughs> That's how I got him to give me the keys. Give me the keys to the drugs trolley. Give me the keys to his BMW, which was parked outside automatic transmission. Nice one. And he was a fat fucker like me. And while he was hypnotised, I took his clothes off him and I got his suit on. And I took his identity badge as well, which said Mr. Patel. <laughs> and I left him there, gaffer tape, gaffer tape round his ankles, gaffer tape round his wrists. Hypnotised by my pigeon powers. <laughs> and he looks so vulnerable, so vulnerable in his Max and Spencer boxer shorts. <laughs> and I thought, should I? <laughs> you know, should I? He's a fucking psychiatrist, come on. And then I thought, no. Raping hypnotised psychiatrists is wrong. <laughs> so I just took a picture of him on his own phone to put on YouTube later. <laughs> And I fucked off out of the hospital Dressed as a psychiatrist Got into his BMW It had nice leather seats I thought this'll fucking do <laughs> Drove away down Manningham Lane Manningham Lane in the pouring rain And I saw this busker with a guitar Walking along in pissy rain I thought, poor bastard, I'll give him a lift Pulled up in BMW I says to the busker, what's your name mate? He says, Captain Ockman says, that's a fucking weird name What's your real name? He said Chris, I said, get in, Chris. I'll give you a lift, mate, anywhere you want to go. He says, well, I'm just off into town. I've got a gig at one in 12, club in that library bit upstairs. So have you? He says, get in, mate. You'll be safe as houses with me. I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Trusting Nobbed. <laughs> so I drove along down Manningham Way. Then I got back into town again When I got near City Square 
I saw so many fucking pigeons there More fucking pigeons than I've ever seen More fucking pigeons than there could have been So many pigeons that it was obscene And they all the pigeons were talking to me They said <laughs> And I said to them that is good advice <laughs> And for those of you who don't speak pigeon English what the pigeon said was, kill the hitchhiker and take his guitar. Do his gig, you might get far. You might even get free vegan chili. You might even get some lemon drizzle cake. I thought, fucking hell! Never has there been such an opportunity in the history of being dressed as a psychiatrist. Never has there been such an opportunity to do a gig. So I says to the busker guy, says, hey mate, is it pretty easy to play guitar? He said, yeah, it's not that hard. I says, oh, cool. And then I strangled him. <laughs> he was easy to kill, he was a vegan. I snapped his neck with one hand. <laughs> my other hand was a doner kebab. <laughs> I should have really had my hands on the steering wheel, but it said automatic. I thought it must have been an automatic player. And I crashed into a big pile of rubble that used to be Foster Square. <laughs> I a busker there. And I left the BMW and I took the busker's hoodie and I went to the gig. And that's how come I'm here pretending to be Captain Hot Knives. And you knobheads all think I'm Captain Hot Knives or whatever it's called. I'm here. But I'm not, I'm a guy who escaped from Linfield Man. <laughs> and later on, when you've all forgotten about this bit of me set, I'm going to follow one of you home and that you'll regret. <laughs> so I'll get housing benefit claim on your spare room. And then I'll have words with your dad. And I'll end up being your dad's best mate. And I'll follow him down to fucking allotments and then I'll grow myself some ganja plants and then I'll smoke them and then I'll, like, I'll get all your fucking CDs and scratch them. <laughs> yeah. I just want one last chorus to get me out of this song so I'm not too sure how I got into it. Like, I want every fucking person in here to do pigeon noise and if you don't, believe me, I will follow you all. <laughs> believe, I ain't even fucking joking, this ain't even funny. You're all gonna do pigeon noises, or I'm gonna follow you home individually, track you down, and bearing in mind that recently my nana gave me two CDs with everybody's name and address on in England. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them for Christmas, she did. I used to work for the DWB, she did up in Newcastle. <laughs> so can we have pigeon noises on the count of 17 from everyone in the place? And I will find out if anyone hasn't done it. Are you ready? On the count of 17. 1, 2, 3, 17.